whether one man called Mr. President is responsible for that? The answer is no. Then the next thing to ask, having found ourselves in this situation, whether it is the responsibility of one man to take us out of it, Mr. President, the answer is no. So proceeding on that, it justifies my earlier position that is, it is the entire leadership of the country that is called to test. Now the answer is, when Nigerians in their wisdom made a constitution and decided that they will have the various levels of government in this country to collectively come together to do what is called the primary purpose of governance, which is to protect life and property of Nigerians. At that time, they intended that it is only one man that has the responsibility to do so. The answer is no. So, Mr. President, we must equally accept the fact that the uniqueness of the situation that we have found ourselves in this country, within my limited understanding of history, no country has found itself in that situation. So what does that mean? It means this is the time for us to be sober and understand the fact that only people with capacity can reverse the situation. The next question to ask is whether assessing our situation, we can validly say that we have people with such capacity to reverse our situation at the helm of affairs in, in our governance. With the greatest respect, I say no. Having realized that, what is expected of us? What is expected of us as a Senate? is to now begin to take stock of our situation and begin to find people with capacity to help us reverse it. This is what is expected of this Senate. It is true we have made several resolutions. It is true we have made several interventions. But like uh, Senator Adetumbi has said, we are at a crossroad now. And everyone knows that when you reach the crossroad, certain decisions that must be fundamental must be taken. And uh, Senator Smart Ademi and uh, Ndume are unanimous in accepting the fact that those who voted us into this office expect a lot from us under this situation. The conclusion I'm driving at, Mr. President, and I said it to Senator Adetumbi this morning. It's a research, verifiable. There is no conversation of government as at today that you can do without carrying pain home. We have capacity to revive that situation. We can. And we know those with capacity to revive the situation. And extraordinary situations require extraordinary actions. So I will join in Dume, Mr. President, in saying that as the leader of this Senate, you must stamp your feet to begin to caution certain positions that we take as a parliament and to see to the possibility, like it has been suggested, of closing, whether you call them wise men or whatever you call them, that will interface with the presidency as quickly as possible in finding solutions to this situation. And I'm telling you, unless you follow this issue, 
whether you change service chief or whether you change anybody, or, the situation will be the more the thing changes, the more they remain the same. Mr. President, as at today, the structure of governance is weak in the sense that the latest research, which I have discussed with Adetunbe Tumbe this morning, shows that 67 percent of people who occupy position in this country today are lacking in capacity to run the offices they occupy. So if we accept that, that means some people have to intervene to do this job for them. And this is the time. So Mr. President, my own position is that first is for the Senate to accept that our situation is unique. No country has found itself in this kind of situation based on the history of the countries that we have read. And that the intervention of the Senate will now be to assist Mr. President to look for people with capacity to reverse the situation so that the public will see that there is a collective action to reverse the situation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Nicholas.